In this brief tutorial, I'll show you how to customize your ribbon in Excel to make it more convenient for you and to access functions and features that you use most often. So I'm in Excel and now I need to click on File and come down to Options. Within the Options setting, I want to come down to Customize Ribbon. Now I can come through and add features <clears throat> from the left-hand column over to the right-hand column uh, into several uh, tabs that are on my ribbons. I can also remove items, but I want to customize and make a, a ribbon tab that's specifically for me. So I'm going to come down to click on New Tab, and now I'm going to... Uh, I can click on it and click on rename, or I can right click on it and I'm going to say rename. And now I'm going to call it Bruce's Faves. So it'll be my favorite or most commonly used items. So now within that group, we have to have a group for them to be in. You don't have to have more than one group, but they do have to reside within a group within that tab. <clears throat> so now what I can do is now that that's selected, take a look on the left-hand side and decide what do I want on my specific tab. Maybe I do custom sort a lot, so let me add that there. You'll notice as soon as I added it, it's nested under that new group, which is in Bruce's faves. Uh, let me go up to, uh, maybe I do a lot with borders. And let me come back to... And we'll say <clears throat> maybe I do some things with uh, under the file tab. Um, let me come up to maybe I open specific files. You go to tool tabs if there's anything I want to add there. Oh, let's see. Let's not do tool tab. I'll I'll just go back to all commands and pull from that for the sake of uh, demonstration. And you'll see it is a lot of items in the all and the all commands, and <clears throat> they are in alphabetical order. They're not grouped according to the tab that they happen to be on. So you really have to know kind of what the name of your um, feature or function or happens to be. Okay, I work sometimes with headers and footers. Let me add that there. Uh, maybe I need to change margins. Oh, merge and center, I do a whole lot. So I've got some items here. And if I decide that, mm, I didn't mean to click on that one. I just click on it once. Um, and oh, let me right click on it and I can come down to remove or I can click on it once and I can click the remove button here. So here's my uh, list of items or features that I want on my custom tab. I can come back and I can delete the tab at any time or I can add to it. But let me go ahead and click on OK. And now you'll notice up here at the top, uh, I have a tab called Bruce's Faves and it has those items I've listed on it. So instead of switching to different tabs which and accessing what I would most commonly access, I can add those to Bruce's faves and they will all be on one tab for me. Now my tab is right here, it's just to the right of the home uh, tab. So if I go back to file options, let me go back to customize ribbon, You'll notice that that's where it's located in this list. Let me go ahead and collapse that. If I want Bruce's faves all the way to the left, then I can, with it selected, I can just move it up, and now it's going to be all the way to the far left. If I want it to the far right, then I can just click, with it selected, click the down arrow to move it uh, across the screen to where the tab will be in that location. So I just click on OK, and now Bruce's Faves is here on the far right side. So that's all there is to it when creating and customizing your ribbon.